this is a demo of the Hide Color ID app. As you can see, when you first open the app, you're presented with the screen. What the app is trying to tell you here is that the app will try to determine what operator code you need so that it can easily do all the work for you in the background. If you're in the United States and Canada, you should probably use star 67. And on the next screen, the app will tell you what it thinks is your correct operator code. So I'm in Europe and I'm using this code which is correct and the app found it. But if you're in the United States, and as I said, you probably should be using star 67. And if the app says something else, then on the operator code field, you should enter star 67 or the correct operator code field. You can try any of those codes listed here and see which one works best for you. You can also try them outside of the app and for instance dial six, seven, six, star 67 and then the test number of a second call, so second number you have like a second mobile or a friend's number that you have and see if the caller ID was blocked and then you come back to the app and enter the operator code field. You enter the code in the operator code field here. Once you're done and you are pretty sure that the code is correct, you make sure the app is enabled. As you can see, you have an icon here. You can also hide the icon. I'll leave it on and then you can scroll back down and see which options you have to make the app automate the blockage of your color ID. You can choose to hide the color ID for all apps, for all calls, which is useful when you don't have a particular numbers like contacts and non-contacts and you only want to do um, the hiding of your color ID irregularly. So basically what you do, you set up the app like this, then you come back and add this widget here and then you simply enable or disable the widget. Just enable or disable one click deal in the next call will be hidden. Your call already will not be visible to the other party. If you have some specific needs, you can of course either select non-contacts or hide the number for contacts or you can also use a number list. Please make sure that um, the non-contacts contacts can't be combined obviously together and that the numbers list has a lower priority than the contact. So for instance, if you have selected this and you have added a number here, the calls in contacts will be hidden. And additionally, all the numbers that you have in the numbers list. What you can do is disable this option and use the numbers list as a white list. So basically, if you want to add five numbers that you always want to have that you always want them to see your color ID you can add them here you can choose a phone book you can choose a call lock SMS inbox and then you come back here and check the whitelist checkbox and now this numbers list is a whitelist so basically only the numbers in this list will see your color ID and everybody else will see a known private number when you call them. The vibrate option is useful to know when uh, um, your color ID will be hidden on this call. So if this call is hiding your number, the phone will vibrate shortly before making the call. 
So yeah, basically that's it. If you have questions, you can always use the contacts form. Please make sure to click on OK. And if you like the app, make sure to rate us on the Play Store. Uh, this is always very helpful. Thank you.